my account is hacked i have put my blood soul and everything oh my god that was the worst time one of the worst time of my lives because i was seeing my child something that i created with my own hands just collapsing like this <laughs> another thing that i picked up from what you shared with me was that you said it would never be rosy it will never be like you will never feel like always going to it and the same thing i would like to i would just come back to your business and how do you pick yourself up in those moments when you feel like you know there there, there comes a plateau in everything when you when you yes, go to yes. the gym also there will be a yes. part where you there will be a threshold which you'll keep hitting but you won't be able to cross it you know yes. how do you yes. reinvent yourself during that process like how did that happen in your business and how did you counter that so uh yes so as i said that it was like customers 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 orders 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 but of course it's not always going to remain that way you are not going to be the only person who is going to be selling on instagram right exactly yeah. people are going to get inspired by you and uh, inspired or whatever by you and they are also going to try to do it and that happened like tha like you know ek hi do gine hue pages the aise goa based ke fir aane lage teen char paanch che saat aath nau das they started to come many many pages and the competition started yeah. and i one thing about competition is that it can be good or it can be really bad Yeah. like you can be like there are now see there are let's be realistic okay there are very less people who are going to be like oh it's just a competitor i'm going to do better mm. no you're going to be like first it's going to hit you and you're going to be like oh my god he's going to take away all my customers oh my god now what do i do ab main kya karu this is so depressing i started this with so much mehnat ye wo ye wo that's your first initial reaction very mm. few people will take it positively okay mm. every it's not like that so when i started to get those uh, competitions and everything and i was like damn of course i took it in a very negative way and i was like should i just shut this down yeah it and was, i, I, I want to me. emphasize on this part that it is okay to feel negative about it because it happens for the first time and it is your initial reaction so don't exactly. curse yourself saying i am exactly. negative or whatever just just like it's okay to feel that way oh, yes these are continue. the feelings these are the feelings which will actually get you out of it you need exactly. to feel a certain type of way first so that you yourself figure the way out so mm-hmm. that's why in the start only i said that none of your feelings are valid all your feelings are valid you are worth it and you are valuable so never feel ki i am feeling this way i'm feeling like crap i'm crap nahi you are going to feel this way but first, this exact first, feelings are the ones first acknowledge the feeling only when you know what yes. you are feeling can you tackle it if you if you just keep running away from your stuff if you just keep running away from uh, like if i'm feeling uh, if i'm feeling jealous about something and you don't acknowledge it and you are like okay let's do something else let's let's just go out with my friends and i'll feel better if you keep running away from that particular feeling you can never tackle that feeling because now it's at the back of your hand yeah. and you have not dealt with it you know it keeps building up it keeps it building, keeps up, building yes. up it keeps building up so and that yeah. was that was so uh i, I was like that you acknowledge it first i was like so should i like close down or what now and i was completely like theek hai main do teen din post nahi kiya main when i realized ki mere ko pata nahi tha yaar i was like i felt a little bit of a shakiness you know like mm. uh, i think thoda sa shake ho raha hai sab kuch बट सच है बट एक दिन मैंने बैठ के ऐसे गोवा टाइप कर लिया आई वॉज लाइक यार इतने पेजेस कहाँ से आए आई वॉज स्लीपिंग ऑन दिस मुझे पता नहीं था एंड आई वॉज इट इट गेव इट मेड मी वेरी डिप्रेस एंड आई डिड नॉट पोस्ट ऑन माई पेज फॉर अ वाइल आई डिड नॉट रिस्पॉन्ड टू पीपल फॉर अ वाइल एंड समथिंग दैट इवन यू डोंट नो अबाउट विच आई विल शेयर ऑन योर पॉडकास्ट आई डोंट नो वेर आई टोल्ड योर आई एम डैम श्योर आई डिड नॉट so good you asked me that wow, how did you deal with it you're not aware of this but i this is my second page my first mm. page which i actually started actually temptations was hacked oof it was hacked by somebody from dubai no idea who 
I was one day just having bath and I usually put some podcast or something like you know some uh aise kind of videos and main rakhti hu background mein and mere ko ek notification aayega you are logged out of your account and main har you know kya kabhi kya hi check karu right so I was like logged out and I used to log in from my dad's phone and I used to log in from my phone so I was like maybe dad did something or something finished my bath but I was having a very really uneasy feeling mere ko aise heart mein feel ho raha tha ki something is wrong So I had a bath and I just like opened my account. I'm I'm logged out from my account. I was like, what? So I went to my personal account and I opened Temptations. Like I typed Temptations open, and I was the minute I was refreshing, one one of my posts was getting deleted. Oh As I was refreshing the feed, एक 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 करके कुछ डिलीट हो रहा था. Next thing, the name of the page has been changed. Next, the bio is being changed. I am like my account is had. I have six thousand followers, ten thousand followers. My account is hacked. I have put my blood, soul, and everything. Oh my god, that was the worst time, one of the worst time of my lives, because I was seeing my child, something that I created with my own hands, just collapsing like this. The person was removing my post. The person was deleting my profile picture, and I was like, I have my customers' DMs. I have their payment information. I have everything on that page. It's going to. Hell, and I was like, "What?" And the, I didn't know what to do. I was like, "I need to go to police, right? Cyber, right?" So I went to the closest police station and I complained that my account has been hacked. And they said, "Well, is it a personal account? Because they take personal account more seriously because you might have some personal stuff on there." So I did not get much help. They were like, "Either mail कर दो, उधर mail कर दो, उधर चले जाओ." And I was like, "I was so sad. I had lost that account." And I never got it back. It's still there. It's still there. He has changed everything. And I started to text him, and I don't know. He never like really responded, but he didn't never gave me that account back. And that's when I was like, after two years of my business, you're telling me I have to start from scratch again. I created a whole new account, and I named it again Temptations. And I luckily got the username because he had changed the username. So I got the username. I put that username, and I requested everybody please follow me. And the amount of and you know that's when I realized that I was sad a few days back that there was so much competition. I stopped posting on my page. Now my account is hacked. How worse can it get for you? So I was like, "Ab me karui kya? Like everything is gone. I think it's over for me now. Like what am I supposed to do?" But that's when I realized my customers messaging me, "Please do not worry. We are here with you." People posting on their story without asking them, they were like, "Please go for," and their words were like, "Please go follow my favorite page, my favorite page, my favorite place to shop from. Please go support her. Her account is hacked." And I was like, "I did not ask for this, but I think this happened so that I realize that I am actually better, better than most people out there. Not put, not saying I'm the best, but I'm saying that what I built by with my hands." Has some value in people's heart and mind. That they are ready to support me. This and is this is exactly like, what happens when you know the same thing that I said. Like if you protect your purpose, your purpose will protect you because protect your purpose me. was not to give. Exactly. Like, it, was, it was not to you know get profits or something. You were just trying to help people to get better products for them to be happy. And when you do that, the people have given you so much love. for the person that you are and for the things that you do and exactly and that's that and you didn't even have to share it to them like they just posted it no, on their own goodwill and that that's what it that's like where customer retention also comes into picture two days and i had three i had recovered 3000 followers that's beautiful and i was like this is my purpose and i'm so glad and if you go to my page and if you go to my customer reviews You will not. You will hardly find somebody who is like thanks for the product. They'll be like, "Hey, babe, listen. I received my parcel. Thank you so much. I love it, and I love you. And I'm like, I love you too. Thank you for shopping from me. So that's the that. bond I, I have that. with so many of my customers. So we went to deliver a parcel, and the girl told me that you can leave it with the security guard, like uh, in the building, in the bottom. So I was like, yeah, fine. And uh, I took her parcel, and she was like, the security guard have kept the cash with the security guard, and he pay you. So I said okay. And we, when we reached there, her total was something like uh two ten, and uh, or something like that. Yeah, two hundred and ten. 
so i was like okay cool and um, i went to uh, i went to the security guard i was like ye ladki ka parcel hai he was like yeah yeah ma'am she's like kept the cash so um i remember that when i was taking the i gave the product to the security guard and i was taking the money and i'm like do i see a, do i see a chocolate like is he giving me a chocolate and i was like wait 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 okay and then he gives me the money with the money is a chocolate and a note saying thank you and i was so touched like i st- i have a picture which i will send you so that you can put it right here right now i have a screenshot like i have taken a picture and it was so touching i hope i find the picture i will i have kept it but i changed phone since then oh uh, and i was so touched because why would she even want to do that like usko to bas like apne product se matlab tha but she went ahead and she did this for me and i was so touched that time so that's the kind of connection i do have with my customers that's that's beautiful that's beautiful also uh, coming back to your weight loss a little bit uh okay. did your weight loss when when you started getting into shape when you started getting more healthier did it start affecting your business in any way like was it like a change that you felt in any way uh if anything i felt more confident for sure but mm-hmm. uh, if you talk about the perspective about the uh, juggling between uh, the business part and the fitness part of course to be very honest fitness itself also takes a lot of time dedication and it takes you know a lot of like you know your head space basically yeah. so uh i did how i felt in terms of how i felt i did feel really good uh like it motivated me in all the ex- aspects of my life but uh juggling the time was really difficult for me because uh the trainer i was training with he was like there for a particular time so it was like at 5 o'clock in the evening mm-hmm. and my shop timings are like was still late night back then like till 9 and i was like what do i do but still i had my mom mm-hmm. and uh, i would leave the shop in the middle like at 5 o'clock or something and then i would go to the gym i would work out like intense workouts at that point like i was like doing like freehand cardio and so much and i would come back like by 6 or so 6 6:30 and i was so tired but i still remember i would come back to customers waiting for me like i knew like they would come i would tell them like can you come at 6 like they would message me like are you open today can we come and i would be like okay but can you come like after 6 and i would come and then quickly just change and then back again over here behind the counter attending customers like Beautiful. so tired but you know the post workout energy is something different and i always have a post workout energy rather than feeling tired so it just was flowing for me it was just flowing for me that that's amazing that's amazing and um also like a lot of people uh they try to they they fix their bodies but uh they don't fix their souls so how has that whole journey been for you like the mental health journey with respect to everything in your life because a lot of things were crashing down for you not only from the business point of view not only from the weight loss point of view not only from the gym point of view but also a lot of stress comes out on your head so how was that whole journey of yours yeah it was definitely a period of transition more than anything the because if you yeah of course uh it's been like a roller coaster of a ride for me and it's been really really strange and different like it's like uh walking into a place full of people you don't even know like it's just like that kind of a head space like uh it's been really hard uh mentally i uh the personally i've been through like lots of things yeah. like it's been really challenging really draining really tiring but i knew like i would like uh, i would get really tired i would get really not physically physically also because yeah. it's like when you're losing weight it's like a big change like you're just sitting at the couch from just sitting at one place to phys- like every day 
getting your body moving it's a big change right so physically you are going to be tired and you are going to feel different and then mentally also it takes a toll on you because uh, what happens is uh, if you talk with the fitness point of view then it's like you start constantly comparing yourself with others it's like when you join the gym and you join suppose with a friend and you see that friend making constant progress but you are stuck on a plateau and you are not doing as good as that person you will just it's human tendency you can't avoid it you know like it just comes to you one it comes to you but then it depends on you if you want to like sit with it or you want to like learn something from the like, take something positive out of it and you know like work on it like work harder or just understand yourself because all bodies are different and i i never had this because i wouldn't like uh, follow like now youtube has really helped me because i follow some like really beautiful um, uh, fitness influencers so like uh, they like they tell you like you know all bodies are different and it didn't make sense to me back then but i realized like really all bodies are different like yeah. you are born with such a different structure like if somebody's uh body type is this way yours will be that way like there is yeah. like nothing going to be similar so you just constantly compare yourself with others and you go down this deep hole where you are like mm. why am i even doing it's this like a spiral But you know if you don't come out of it you just go it's a down. vicious it's a vicious spiral and you just keep going down and the more you let yourself down the more you're going to just give up and mm. i remember this one quote which i came across which was like you didn't come this far to only come this far wow so yeah. that made so much sense to me and i was like yes i at you didn't come this far only to come this far because whatever it is like your goal in your head that you have set you need to work for that and not compare yourself with others so and a lot of thing i a lot of things i want people to understand is that when it comes to mental health a lot of people like if if you if you break your arm or something you will go to the doctor if you damage your leg or something you will go to the doctor but when it comes to the mental health people just be like you know just man up bro like you know stuff like that which is not okay to say you have to understand that a mental health is another type of you know it is it is something that should be given equal importance as yeah. physical health because yes. if it was a switch you know if it if people had the option of a switch to you know just switch it off whenever they are happy and switch it on whenever uh, they're sad or something like that then obviously everyone would switch it on and keep it happy exactly. right exactly. if it was a switch no one would actually try to uh, be sad or something the reason that they are not happy is because they can't be happy and they have to like you know go through a certain healing and go through a certain growth Yeah, please continue. Yes, it's it's so important. Like you can really look good, and you can feel good. But if up here you are not stable, then it's of no use. Because yeah. I feel physical health is definitely important, but mental health is more. Because when you are strong here, you automatically feel and are able to do. stuff physically so it's really important to be okay up there and nobody talks about it like nobody talks about it it's like i'm depressed i am whatever like these words are taken so lightly but the meaning behind it is so deep and the people who actually see like the people who actually struggle with depression and trust me nobody's feelings are invalid like we or whatever we feel it's all valid it's not like if somebody's uh, sad is more or somebody's you know like yeah. it's not like that whatever everybody feels they have each certain person has a capacity we all mm-hmm. have a capacity so no not uh, triggering anybody here but you know this words like depression anxiety trauma these are heavy words and, and it, some uh, people no, they it, just use it just like that they just use it just like that like oh you're depressed like ha huh, ha yeah whatever you get out of it snap back at it like forget it like it's not like that it's a complex that like, your mind is forced to just feel those emotions like you don't want and you want don't to even feel, feel like going to someone when you are actually going through that phase and i think you should really acknowledge that feeling like you said in a lot of your parts which i had asked you you have to acknowledge the feeling first only when you acknowledge the feeling then can you like 
uh, fight with it or understand it. Get intimate with your fear. Don't run away from it. And there are many people who don't even know what they're going through. Like exactly. there is sometimes it's like uh, sometimes there is somebody who might like accord like they might be going through a bipolar depression. Okay, yeah. like they must be like going through that, but they don't even know what's happening to them. Like people might be getting panic attacks and they don't even know what's happening to them. They're like, what is this? Because people are not educated on this stuff. Like they don't know what what's wrong. Like if you know, like if you are sick, like um, just a few weeks back, I got dengue. How to say dengue? Dengue. It's fine. It's it's a dengue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's dengue. fine. <laughs> You're so cute. Yes, you actually dengue, right? Dengue. Dengue. <laughs> Dengue. dengue. It's not dengue, Anish. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> okay, dengue. So do I? Say, I say dengue. It sounds weird now. No, no, dengue is okay. Indians will understand. Okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, so just a few days back, like I got dengue, like just like, and what happened was, I got dengue, and I didn't even know I had it until I recovered out of it, <laughs> like. <laughs> it's so funny because I remember like falling sick and my 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 dad was like maybe you just have the viral like you know there's viral everywhere I was turning pale and everything and I didn't know what was going on that was because I didn't know what exactly happens to you when you get the this particular like disease so I was like I don't know I'm just falling sick I'm not recovering my fever is not going I don't have COVID what's wrong with me and after a week. When I checked, I did a blood test. I was positive, and I was like, mm. "Oh my god!" You sent me and my that. platelets were just what? You sent me that blood test. Yeah, I sent you the. <laughs> I was freaking out. I was like, "Oh my god!" First time, so, and I had almost re- recovered out of it, and that's when I came to know I had it. So if I knew, or I was a little bit more well versed, ki then like these are the signs, ki yeah. aise aise hota hai, I would know and I would be well prepared. तो ऐसे ही लोगों को लाइक पैनिक अटैक्स होते हैं लाइक डिप्रेशन वेव्स आते हैं बट दे डोंट नो व्हाट्स रॉन्ग दे जस्ट फील लाइक यार मैं ही बेकार हूं शायद यू नो यार यार एंड दैट्स सो बैड बिकॉज़ आई जस्ट फील लाइक वी ऑल शुड बी वैल्यूड एंड वी ऑल शुड फील लव्ड एंड वी ऑल शुड फील सिक्योर्ड सो इक्वली बिकॉज़ इट्स जस्ट सो इंपॉर्टेंट एंड आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई वी आर नॉट दैट एजुकेटेड एज वी शुड बी ऑन दैट it is it is the it is the basic saying that goes like we are we are wired for generosity but we are educated for greed that is what happens when we are born everyone wants to give love everyone wants to share everyone wants to give happiness but when we get older we are told that there are a finite number of people who get selected on the cricket team there are finite number of students in a college there are so many yeah. things that become finite that we want all of it so once that greed comes into picture it always becomes about us and it becomes very less about the other person and that's that what and happens here here's where people try to they learn how to fit in and they want to fit yeah. in and they want to be like other people this yeah. is exactly from where it comes maybe a a friendship is falling apart for you and so is mine right like a friendship is falling apart for me and we both are like okay and somehow we fall in trouble together i have noticed that <laughs> like we are mentally gone at the same time so it's like something's happening with you so something's happening with me and i'm like anish ye ho gaya and like aaye the ho gaya and uh, you're just going to be like oh ye ho gaya tere sath okay wait wait listen like can i call okay wait i'm like video calling okay okay wait and then next thing i know there is a 10 minute ka voice note just there and when you are like okay listen you know you can do this 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 is why don't you like do that and this and that 